e Vargas. Didn't like that. There you go. There you go, mate. Don't say hi then. Well, look at all those pigs. Nothing there. It's bloody thick. Pig, pig, pig. Yep, he tried to come to the fence. Good ball. I'm sure he had a red bloody mark on this side. You must have shot him at point blank, did you? <coughs> oh, Jesus. You did, you hit him right in the centre because I, I could see. Well done, mate. <laughs> Thank you. And I hit him twice hard. No, I got him through there. You? you got him somewhere here, sort oh, of. Okay, yeah. Through the centre somewhere. Yeah. Put your rifle down next to He would have been good with a bow, but. Uh... Oh, mate, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get <laughs> <laughs> we can't muck around with these fellas. Set of old, old, old freaking busted off bloody grinder. Good work, mate. Thank you. I think that was good cut off. Combined too. effort. Yeah, he would have got away if I didn't, if I wasn't there, because 
I was still coming around that green bloody thing. Yeah, he was dead. I heard he? boom smack like black. He was dead, but it was going to take a little while, I think. Yeah, he was still, he was going to be motoring all the way across to probably to the, yeah. if he'd made it, because through the guts. There's a fair, yeah, there's, a, there's a bit of blood all the way yeah, across there. Yeah, yeah. How are we looking here? Are they worth keeping? Lift them up, take them out. You got one broken there. Broken, yeah. And that Pull one's. Up. Pull the fucking lift his bottom, his top jaw. Oh, yeah, he's a good yeah. tusk. They might be worth keeping. Yeah. I don't have any decent ones, so. Yeah. You mind? No, right. yeah, get him. Thank you. Well, we done 50 pigs, a bit over 50 pigs. Steve leading the tally. I got about 20. And Brendan got about 10. And Brendan and I shot the big boar about an hour ago. crafty bugger and then I saw this black dot right out of and the best way to come across this hard stuff is straight across because yeah, <laughs> I knew this there. fence was here well, and uh, one, well I reckon he hasn't got much size but he might have a bit of tusk on him I'll go and check him I'll go and check these and if I put right them through you'll I'll come to you that'll be even better so I put up that pig out of that stuff over there and he ran straight across here and I shot from there Freaking thought I'd run out of time because I knew the fence was coming up. He's a boy. He's a, you know, not bad touch for a young pig. He's sharp tusks. He'd uh, do a bit of damage that month.
so I've been using these this is the last four of these dumb ones there they're full metal jacket so you got to shoot them in the head before I go back to the um, soft nose yep. They got away pretty quick. They friggin' knew what was on those guys. <laughs> so I roared up here. These pigs came through here. The boys are on their way home. I slammed the brakes on here. The pigs ran through the fence just there. Probably about 10 or 12 of them. My instinctive aim is for the bigger one. And they went through a bit of a, this was a bit of a lull. I was had the rifle up, but I couldn't freaking see him for about a little bit. And when I shot this fella, it didn't anchor him completely. So then I used the second shot for this fella. And by then the others were gone. So, geez, they depart pretty quick. So possibly the last pig of the trip. <clears throat> so we had Brandon and Steve. Between the three of us we had a motorbike each. So we were mechanised. I had my kayak as well but it, I only shot a pig and a fox from the kayak. Um, so the bikes were the go this trip. So we've got about 50 odd, 50 odd pigs. 